Revered as the innovative airline that first pioneered the operation of Boeing jets in Asia, as well as Emirates' first ever flights, Pakistan International Airlines is the nation's flag carrier. The country's $3.3 billion aviation industry is booming, with passenger yields at a record high, and demand for flights to and from the Middle East having grown 70% alone, competition among carriers is cutthroat. But with an indefinite ban imposed on Pakistani operators, restricting them from flying to and from Europe. For the first time ever, and with unprecedented access, we're about to show you PIA like it's never been seen before. Pakistan 714 calling situation room. <laughs> Wonderful. So fasten your seatbelts for behind the scenes of Inside PIA. Mid-morning at Karachi's Jinnah International Airport may not be the busiest time for aircraft movements, but over at PIA's flight kitchen, it's the start of yet another action-packed shift. Catering for both PIA's own flights, as well as several other airlines, 12,000 meals are produced here each and every day. For Nawab Katak, PIA's General Manager of Food Services, the proof really is in the pudding when it comes to taking on PIA's competitors. Once the passengers uh, start journey from their home until the uh, destination to the seat of the aircraft, now they're expecting some special service in terms of the flight crew, attitude, service, courtesy, hospitality, and ultimately this hospitality uh, will be uh, supported by a good high quality foods. So that's why the food is one of the core elements in, in flight service, especially the Pakistani peoples who once entered in the plane, they're expecting a Pakistani food, the taste, the aroma, so they love it a journey. Love for Pakistani cuisine is an executive chef, Mohammed Fayaz Khan's blood. He's the second generation of his family to cook for over 4 million of PIA's passengers routing via Karachi each year. Come with me, that the breakfast is going. This is our best it's made today. I cooked this one today. This is a Pakistani omelette, which is, I love it. Nobody make like this in other flights. And then we, we put the herbs in there. We put the spice, less spices. It's good for the kids, it's good for all, all age people and they love it. And let me try this one as well because the breakfast is the first meal on a flight. Uh, when you fly in, when you board in and wonderful, the best, the best, I love it. Let me try another thing. I have the biryani, I put the biryani here uh, before. And that is the biryani. This is my best chef as well, uh, Mr. Muhammad Usman. And thank you so much for being here. And this is, look, I, I make this recipe and explain him how to cook it. And as per ingredient, we ingredient use for the aroma. And this is biryani, the Pakistani biryani. If you see that, the color, the chicken, and it is a chicken biryani with all spices in the herbs and it is also the wonderful also the beauty beauty of mine i eat too much and uh, let me let me try this one check the spices and the meat uh, to be honest i love spices used to be love spices but now wonderful wonderful wonderful, wonderful. i i wish you can uh, feel, smell, you can have it and you can see that the, how much aroma is coming out. As you know that the slogan, great people fly with PIA. When you say the great people, then great people deserve great service. 
so which is we serve with the food our hospi hospitality we mm, show of them how important they are for us on board but it's not just in the flight kitchen where things have been simmering europe has banned all pakistan international airlines flights for a period of six months that's information that's just coming in it's a huge setback for pakistan as the flag carrier of pakistan sitting under the administrative control of the government of pakistan pia's management have faced increasing pressure to turn around the airline first of all the easa ban it needs to be understand is not in pia we are very hopeful that uh, easa which is expected to go come within few months to pakistan for the pcca final audit uh, would also declare uh, all Pakistani airlines to operate and inshallah very soon we'll be starting our operations to UK and uh, the European uh, different cities. Given the right uh, opportunity, given the right corporate culture, within three to four years PIA can be a profitable organization. The reason being, we carry the Pakistani flag on our tail and we are doing that for many years and we're very proud of that. And uh, we're very grateful to the expats Pakistani who are living abroad and we're regularly flying with us, despite, uh, we believe, many areas of improvement which are required to, uh, to be worked upon. Uh, PIA has a point-to-point -point direct uh, flight model, which very few airlines has. It has um, a traditional uh, uh, courtesy from its uh, in-flight crew and uh, traditional uh, queue signs. The PIA free baggage, PIA fares are competitive and generous. So, still with all the limitations we have, PIA is having a dominant market shares in most of the market. If the new aircraft planes are coming in, the IEI fears are coming in, the investment is made into the product, I believe PIA will be one of the major players in the year to come in this particular area. And the winds of change have begun to blow, at least not for this inspiring flying husband and wife duo who are changing perceptions. My name is Mavia, I've been in the airline for the last 14 years. I've flown the 737s, the Airbus 310s, the 777s, and now I'm flying as an ADR captain. I'm also a, a training uh, instructor and uh, a training examiner on the ATRs. Okay, my name is Komal Zafar and I've been with the airline since 2019 and I've just flown ATRs. Today they're operating flight PK701 to Manchester, but their flight will never make it off the ground. Instead, training captain Mohammed and first officer Zafar are to fly in one of PIA's multi-million pound simulators, ahead of first officer Zafar's application to transfer to the Boeing 777 fleet. And as flight 701 gets airborne, over at the flight kitchen, a special UN peacekeeping charter flight to the Central African Republic risks being delayed. I want to uh, talk with the DJ. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Without the security tags required, the catering will not be given the necessary permission needed to be loaded into the aircraft. Any delay to the flight, even by several minutes, could cost PIA tens of thousands of pounds, and worse, embarrassment before Pakistan Army's top brass. Hamidullah has his work cut out. When is the next meeting? Just now? Okay, I'm coming. Thank you. Okay, sir. It's a great way to fly with PA gear. By all means. We are even, even higher than that. You have seen it in my office. Thank you. The Chief Operating Officer, Amanullah Qureshi. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Wow. How are you doing today? Overcoming the European ban imposed on Pakistani carriers is one of PIA's top priorities. 
As far as the European operation is concerned, this is also very, very important for us because our ethnic traffic is already there and they want direct service. They do not want to go different points like Dubai and going to Europe and we are having a lot of pressure on to that. People keep talking to us, they ask, ask, asking us that why we do not start this thing. And Alhamdulillah, we are all set for this, you know. Why I am saying so, that we are operating to North America and Canada already. And in the Middle East, of course, the SAFA inspection is done over there as well. And our SAFA in index is towards the minimum. Our IOSA rating is the highest. IATA recently did for that. And ACAO also cleared the Civil Aviation Authority for the SSC. So we are very hopeful that in near future, the authorities from the EU also come over here and we start, it would be giving us an additional revenue of almost 6 to 8 percent. Amanullah is establishing accountability. This particular, you know, road trainer, this costs almost 195,000 pounds through the quotation. And then through our innovative strategies and through, you know, indigenous designs, we bought it just for 25,000 US dollars and it got installed and we were compliant with the Civil Aviation Authority. Now, none of the aircraft is grounded for the cabin crew training. We can train any number of the, you know, uh, cabin crew over here. Let me just show you the, it is a two draw trainer, which has been made with the local resources and it is compliant with the regulatory authorities requirement anywhere in the world. So the only thing is that we need to be, you know, given the confidence that this organization can do wonders in any capacity, whether it is training, whether it is, you know, flying, whether it is doing the cargo business, any product line within the, you know, airline industry. I'm not saying that we are legacy carriers, but at the same time, the capability of the individual and the human resource is outstanding altogether. So that gives us the differential advantage to be, you know, still, we are existing and we are trying to progress all to it. Thank you very much. Back at PIA's training centre, simulated flight PK701 is on final approach to Manchester's runway 23 right. Good line, 23 right, box 701. 1,000. Left engine on fire. Medium, 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 Pakistan 701, engine fire, left, continuing approach. 500. Good. Let's continue approach. Okay, With only one engine, First Officer Zafar must now get her 393 passengers on the ground safely, otherwise her hopes of flying PIA's flagship aircraft will be grounded. With a textbook emergency landing in the bag, First Officer Zuffer can finally head home with confidence, ahead of applying for the fleet. At the flight kitchen, there's also good news. Alhamdulillah, we have arranged these seals. These are UN Charter flights. These are the four that will take the UN Charter. These are the UN Charter. यूएनओ की तरफ से जो चल रहे हैं इसी के लिए हमने ये अरेंज किया पूरी तौर पे कि ये फ्लाइट इसी मूत ली चले जाए ऐसे परेशो पीएम फ्लाइट 9935 टू डी सेंट्रल अफ्रीकन रिपब्लिक बी एबल टू डिपार्ट ऑन टाइम एंड विथ ऑल 320 सोल्जर्स केटेड फॉर ऑन बोर्ड At Karachi's Jinnah International Airport, the evening rush of domestic flights is underway.
one engine start present position for destination of number. Flight level requested is 350, persons on board 143. Farzana Yasmin is supervising the handling of passengers bound for Feslabad on PK340, but the flight is delayed due to bad weather. Meanwhile, the arrival of aircraft Bravo Golf Zulu sets the wheels in motion for a busy 12 hours ahead for PIA staff. This Boeing 777 will operate one of PIA's furthest direct routes to Toronto in the morning. But first it requires unloading and cleaning before a night in the engineering hangar. Routine maintenance is required on one of the aircraft's cabin heating systems, a necessity given this plane will be flying at over minus 50 degrees over the Atlantic. The engineers have their work cut out. But there's good news for the Feslabad flight. Finally, some relief for Farzana after a longer than usual shift. Alhamdulillah, abhi hamari tamam flights khatam ho gayi hain. Inshallah tomorrow, abhi jab hamari subah flights hogi, first flight hamari 300 hai Islamabad, second flight hamari 302 Lahore, 8 baje flight hai. Inshallah hamari start ho jayegi, international mein flights hain hamari, Toronto flight hai, 10.30, complete ho jayega hamara day, hamari full flight sali jayegi. Sure. Inshallah. Thank you, sir. PK340 might be PIA's last departure of the night from Karachi. But over at the engineering hangar, work continues. Karachi is the headquarters of PIA's maintenance facilities, serving both its own aircraft and other airlines. But despite its grandeur, it seems sometimes basic tools are fit for the job and even a 250 million pound airliner needs its tire pressures checking. Alhamdulillah, the maintenance is completed now. Uh, and the aircraft is ready for departure in the morning for Toronto. And uh, we perform all the checks uh, uh, according to the, our maintenance. Uh, inshallah, uh, this aircraft will depart in the morning. Our maintenance is completed. And it will be special care for the safety of the aircraft and also the, uh, the requirements of airworthiness, uh, inshallah. And then uh, after this maintenance, the aircraft will go to the uh, departure bay and depart on Toronto in the morning. A multi-million dollar aircraft, it is uh, necessary to use WD-40 uh, sometimes? You know, 
uh, we whatever we do in this aircraft maintenance, uh, we do as per maintenance data. If the maintenance data allow us to do uh, use uh, WD-40, then we will do, and then uh, that's why we are we use this WD-40. It's uh, recommended by the manufacturer or our maintenance as per my maintenance data. Uh, WD-40 can use. It's the start of a new day at Karachi's Jinnah International Airport. And check-in is underway for flight PK783 to Toronto. But not all passengers are happy. The passenger who came to the respect of the passenger who came to the guest, was the first one who came to us without any charges. As per management the routes and the SOPs, we can't give any charges without any charges. We have to give the charges to the payment, and then we will give the charges to the payment. So, we will give the charges to the payment. Despite economy class passengers to Toronto having 46 kilograms allowance, many have excess baggage. But this passenger reveals the secret behind the extra weight. So, uh, mangoes are so uh, important that you are taking it to Toronto. Yeah, it's very important because it's very expensive over there. Now you can't get a uh, very mango over there. I'm taking mango for my uh, daughter choice, for my daughter demand. Over at the flight kitchen, catering carts from the morning's international arrivals are beginning to stack up. The porting team here have the mammoth task of rapidly sorting out the waste and surplus supplies. Unopened food and drinks are donated to charity, an Islamic duty that the staff take seriously. Whilst back at the terminal, aircraft Bravo Golf Zulu has arrived on stand on schedule from engineering. And the crew of PK783 have assembled for their briefing. Despite check-in closing soon, some late arriving passengers have faced unexpected immigration issues. But will they make the flight? In case immigration gives you a visa, I have voting argument. I have no problem for the guard. But depend on the visa. With the crew en route to prepare the aircraft for boarding, things aren't looking good. Difficulty with giving us extra time, but right now somebody's talking to the immigration officers 
to provide us with extra time. It's just 14 days and we're working on uh, a solution. With the flight now boarding, any delay to this transatlantic service could cost PIA thousands if they miss their air traffic control slot. It's not acceptable. No? No. You're more than 14 days. So what do we have to do? You have to go over there to New uh, uh, And how long will that take? I depend on uh, uh, immigration. How much is the cost? I don't know how much it goes. But what if we miss our flight? What if we miss our flight? It's at 10 30. You first get the vision by the sun, then we will have no recon from the next one. Next flight was Sunday, we'll have flight from Sunday, Monday, I'd watch the flight. Sunday, Monday? What? Go flight, Monday. When is your flight? Next week. Next week. After you go flight, Monday. Kratina with the Lahorna, that Belchet and the Sambana with the Kuzina, the Kalidana Kali Kratina, Kratina do flat. Kati Lahorna with the Sambana, but the Kurame, the Delta, 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 Agent. Agent Kitala. But he said that he will talk to PIA. 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 He will with 303 passengers, two less than its maximum load, the K783 powers down the runway bound for Canada. PIA's training center, the facility that once trained Emirates cabin crew. A batch of PIA cabin crew are about to undertake their annual emergency drills. Assalamu alaikum everyone. As you know that you are here for your SCP refresher yes, and today we are going to have some drills inside the 777 mock-up and uh, you know that we are going to simulate the emergency evacuation, uh, planned emergency and maybe an unplanned emergency we will be simulating some drills for the smoke and the decompression situation also. So I hope you are all prepared. It is a very good session here today which you are going to learn a lot from this particular session. And as far as you already are doing a lot of things nicely during the flights, you are very professional crew members and I hope today is going to be a very, very fruitful session. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma you want to have any questions, you want to ask any questions or queries, please? No, we are clear. No, okay, let's proceed to the mock-up. At the nearby Flight Operations Centre, staff are closely monitoring the Toronto flight. Welcome to the PIA Operation Control. This is the history of the PIA where we use these aircrafts from starting from very beginning. Nowadays, we are the modern aircraft, Boeing 777 and A320. This is the modern aircraft we use. And this is the Operation Control Center. Welcome. This is Flight Dispatch Office. These guys dispatching the flight, making a flight plan, making and calculate uh, the weight of the aircraft, knows these uh, runway categories uh, and everything. Welcome. These guys are preparing a flight plan, operational flight plan. Each and every flight of the PIA to be dispatched. So Anwar, can you brief us yes, what's the going on, the latest? So this is our uh, dispatch center. Here we have a flight to Toronto. These are the dangerous area showing on the map. The flight is operating, avoiding these all areas. 
Deprive is currently in Border Control Center. It's DGZ Alpha Papa Bravo Golf Zulu. On the way to Toronto. But there's a more pressing issue of an unexpected diversion to address. Understand we need uh, uh, ETA, inshallah, uh, 0725, uh, need ground support on arrival. Thank you. Pakistan 7 and 4 message copy, sir. Today we have a flight Rachi to Quetta, but bad weather at Quetta, gusty winds and low visibility, the flight was diverted to back Karachi due to safety of passengers and aircraft. We are proud of our team. We have a team of professional. We are working in a joint responsibility or shared responsibility. That is the FO and the captain. Both are equally responsible for safe conduct of flight. Therefore, they always read the notams, study the route, weather, and then dispatch on most safely, economically route. For the crew at the PTC, it's the moment of truth. In addition to slide evacuation drills, the crew now face every passenger's worst nightmare. Please ensure that your handbag is stored in the hard Once again, it is reminded that emergency exits are also available at the of the aircraft. Thank you for flying with Pakistan International. Great people to fly with. Take your seats for landing. Fire! Fire! Hey, this is going bend down. 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 So how have they performed? Today we attended the uh, training session uh, where we practice uh, smoke drill, firefighting techniques, uh, plan and unplanned emergency and that's what we do uh, every year when we come here and that is the requirement of Pakistan Civil Aviation Authority. Our instructors are very competent and very professional and we enjoy it a lot when we come here. So our, uh, we try to uh, train the crew on this track and uh, crew do give the output uh, in a very uh, good and confident manner uh, and uh, we think that um, we are very much hopeful that um, our crew is mashallah fulfilling all the requirements of safety measures so as far as uh, the end of the session is concerned it was a very very good session and uh, practically everyone performed really very well and it was a marvelous performance by them and they actually have passed the requirement area and they have reached the required standard which we are actually expecting from our crew member in terms of trainings. So practically they have done a really very good job. So hats off to them and uh, let's hope that we are going to do the much better trainings in the future inshallah.